Okay, sometimes uh, you're going to want to crop one of your views and uh, most often that will be like when you have like an auxiliary view or maybe a section view where you just want a piece of it sectioned and you don't want to show the entire the entire thing. Uh, this is not a good example of that, but I'm going to use it to, to show you how the crop feature works. And so you, here on your place views, you go crop, you select your view, and then you, you click a rectangle of the area that you want to keep. Okay. <clears throat> and so it cropped out everything else. So that would be what you would want to keep. Um, I'm, I'm not sure, um, if you can change that. Let's, let's try this and see, can we rotate? Let me select all these lines. I, I can't remember if I've ever tried this or not. Um, rotate. My center point. I'll just pick there and we'll snap to it. Uh, no, okay. Um, say 45 degrees. No. Okay. So I don't know if I can, uh, if I can, let's see. draw a couple of extra lines in here. Let's see if this will work. Yeah, that would work. Okay, so you 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 can do it first with the rectangle and then um, go back in and edit that sketch if a vertical rectangle is not what you need. Okay, so that's cropping. Let me just escape back to... Okay, so that's cropping. Um, sometimes, and when we do the breakout, a lot of the assignments will have a little bit more detailed information, but sometimes you want a breakout view, which is like if we were just to break a piece of the part out to show what it looks like. And so I'm going to take this top view here, and I've, I've made it a solid, so there's no hidden lines displayed. And so I'll go break out, and then I select this particular view. And you have to sketch where you want the breakout. And so I'm going to come out here and I'm going to, I'm going to start it not quite at, eh, I'm not going to start it at the center because the main thing I want to show is this portion right here. And so I'm going to click here with a line, a line. And most breakouts have a jagged line to them. And then I'm going to come across who well, I wanted that line to be up on there. Uh, and then on the outside of the part, I'm just going to go outside of it there. I want that aligned to there. So let's go collinear. There we go. And now we'll hit finish. And now it asks us, um, we've got our profile created. And there's several options here. And, I, you know, I've always just found from point, and I'm going to click on the very top of that, and the distance that you want it to go down. And I've seen, um, I, I've seen this work both ways, where it's, it's a distance on the actual part or a distance in the scaled drawing. And so we've got it set to three. So we'll say, okay, uh, encounter problems. So I'm going to accept that. And, but the problem is the, the radius of this, dimension, come on. So we got a radius of seven. So a three would have been halfway down for that. But you can see that it's going way down. Uh, this is a one to four drawing. So, 
it's measuring three inches down from here at scale so we're actually down here somewhere that it's that it's cutting through so let's go back and come over here and find our breakout right here oh cancel out of dimension and let's change that to like 1.5 that looks better okay so you you may have to play with the distance that you want the breakout to show okay um and like i said th there'll be some assignments you'll have where you'll have to create a breakout view and usually those will have more in-depth um instructions in it uh crop breakouts okay a slice view this is kind of a weird um <laughs> a weird um feature right here slice and you've got to have a sketch of what you want to create slices of okay and it's it's kind of bizarre but i'll show it to you um and so i'm from here i'm gonna go start a sketch i want this front view and i'm gonna draw some vertical lines and the the one thing with and I, i'm not paying attention to the sizes or the angles or anything like that you, you would be a little bit more detailed in that but it has to be an open profile okay you would not have a closed loop and so i'm going to go okay finish now to do a slice you've got to have a, a projected view already that you're going to slice and most of the time you're going to use an isometric view um or you, you uh, that's just the best way i can think of to do it so i'm going to go slice and i'm going to select this come on it's not picking it why are you not picking it weird now that's weird because it worked just a little while ago i don't know what to, uh I don't know what to say so i want to select let me select it first and then huh that's just totally weird because honestly it oh I already had um, already had one in there from where I was practicing and I didn't delete it so let's try that again slice all right there we go select my asymmetric view and then select my sketch to be the lines there that I created and go okay oh I, I keep forgetting this we have to come over here and set this up instead of section to set it to slicing so i right click on the part or the view and come down section participation and change that to slice and then you can see what it does is it creates slices all the way through there it's an unusual feature that i honestly can't think of anything that i've ever drawn that i've used that in but that was it okay um okay so that covers um a lot of the section views that you're going to have and so we'll come back in a little bit with um uh, with some more dimensioning type things that we're going to get into